All right, I just want to do a little book review. Uh, <clears throat> this one is, um, it's actually a book of short stories. Uh, Vladimir Nabokov, Nabokov, really not sure on the pronunciation. I should though, because he's uh, becoming one of my favorite writers, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I've read two of his novels, Hellfire and Lolita. Uh, I own several more that I plan on reading. Um, and I've read his memoir, uh, which is called Speak Memory. I've also read um, some of his um, critique, criticism work of uh, Russian literature. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I read some of his short stories and it definitely won't be the last. Uh, this, I think, is a compilation, let's see, published by uh, Vintage International, Vintage Books. Um, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but I think this is all his short stories, so I've just completed it and um, I'd say upwards of 80% of them are really, I found really enjoyable. Very few of them I, I just thought were flops and um, e even those ones, it really might have been more uh, my headspace going into reading them. I might have just been totally not with it or something because um, I do plan on rereading pretty much every, every story in this. I, I plan on going through it again. Um, so there's 52 stories in this and I believe they're chronological. Um, you can kind of follow with the notes in the back and it will tell you when they were published. Um, I kind of wish that that was just at the beginning of each story, but it's not and um, that's okay. So, the, you know, the theme of uh, Russian um, emigre is, is huge in a lot of these stories. Um, a lot of them are based in Berlin. I, I believe Nabokov uh, lived in Berlin for some time. When he did come to America, I think is when he kind of started uh, publishing um, novels more so. And I don't know if he wrote as many short stories in the later half of his writing career. So a lot of these short stories are, um, I would say maybe half of them were uh, when he was in his 20s and 30s before he had it, even came to America. I could be wrong about that, but a lot of them date to uh, the, the 1930s or so. Uh, I believe Nabokov left Russia during the revolution. I believe his uh, family escaped um, really at in 1918 or, or something like that. Um, re really interesting uh, life story Nabokov has. And there's a lot of autobiographical um, instances in this, uh, in, in these stories. Two of them, I, two or three of them are, I think, um, just clear autobiographical uh, stories. Um, I don't know if I could remember which ones they were, but um, yeah, th there's really some gems in, in this. Um, Nabokov could write, um, what's that old cliche saying? He could, um, or you could say about a stand-up uh, comedian, they could recite the yellow pages um, and it would be interesting. Nabokov could write write the yellow pages or, or write uh, just the most meaningless, um, seemingly boring subject and, and make it just brilliant. Uh, he, he just has a magnificent prose style and he's always um, trying out different techniques. So it's, there's really just always something captivating and something interesting and something to sink your teeth into. And that's why I can definitely see myself going back to, to this work. And it just is something that I'm probably gonna uh, find something new, something new to appreciate every time I go into it, or at least I anticipate. Um, but yeah, I took my time with these. I just maybe read a story here or there in between reading novels. So it took me a long time to get through and I don't recall many of the stories specifically. Like when I go back to the contents, I know that I enjoyed a lot of these stories, but um, I might have to like reread the first page and then it would all come back to me. But yeah, the dragon, that one was comical to me. Um, but um, yeah, I, I recommend anybody who's a, a fan of uh, Nabokov to definitely go into his short stories. Um, I've always been a fan of the short story, you know, Chekhov, um, Jack London short stories, Fitzgerald, uh, of course, James Joyce's uh, Dubliners. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting many great short story writers. Um, Hemingway had a lot of good short stories, but yeah, I think it's a it's it's um, something that I don't see as much of these days. I'm not quite sure 
why, I mean, uh, everybody loves a good novel, but you'd think with um, maybe generally lower attention spans, I don't know if it's exact, if that's exactly true, especially now people li listening to long form podcasts and whatnot, but I would imagine that the short story would um, really have a lot of staying power, and maybe I'm mistaken, I don't read a lot of um, um, very contemporary writers, I, I plan to in the future, but um, my understanding is the novel is pretty dominant right now, and that short stories are not being, maybe they're being published, but they're not being read as often. I can't remember the last time um, I heard of a great um, uh, series of short stories being published, although novels are always being published um, to high acclaim. Um, an inter another interesting thing about um, this collection of short stories is uh, there's a short story called Natasha. I actually just finished reading out here on my balcony. Um, and it was, I think it was discovered after his death, so it was published posthumously. Um, it says, this edition includes the newly discovered story, Natasha. Um, again, it's about a Russian emigre uh, family. It doesn't say where in Europe they're staying. I just would imagine that it's um, that it's probably either Germany or France. Um, and, and yeah, it's it's tragic, but beautiful at the same time. And again, just just the way he writes is just supreme. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about it. Um, I, I really look forward to reading some of the novels I have by um, Nabokov. I, I I just can't wait to get into them. And I'll, I'll probably step away for um, maybe read a couple of other novels just to have some uh, something to, to cleanse my palate of Nabokov for a little while but I think pretty shortly uh, maybe after two or three other novels or or, or books I will uh, delve into some of his earlier novels and I just can't wait so yeah short one today I just uh, wanted to talk about how much I love Nabokov and his short stories so that's all for today